Hey everyone, it's Pops with the Adams Family Gaming. Today I'm going to be showing y'all the new servers that were dropped over the last 24 hours. Well, technically 20 hours ago. Um, we also got a couple of different types of servers. Um, they're releasing a brand new type of server. We're going to go over that. So if you go back to Wednesday on at 6.13, they released quite a few new servers here. They got uh, primarily uh, NA, it looks like. I mean, EU, uh, PVE, PVP, console only. Uh, they got... NA, PVE, Scorched Earth, um, and then today, or 20 hours ago, so technically I'm probably yesterday, they released, um, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six EU PVP servers, and six NA PVP servers, that just only Scorched Earth. Um, five hours ago, they launched some more small trap servers that are in NA and EU, so that's cool if y'all are starting fresh or whatever y'all been wiped and y'all that gives y'all a perfect opportunity to go and try and claim your favorite base space um hopefully they're not too contested with it being five hours ago um they've also just dropped it says we've just deployed a new type of server across the network for various game types that we'll be referring to as expire which is what you can search for in the session filter these servers will be online until 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on June the 1st. We're preemptively using our allocation for the center to host some additional sessions that players can travel on to farm and tame and experience the Scorched Earth gameplay. The same transfer restrictions apply in that you are only able to download your character, but you can freely take anything off. This is to help reduce load of some of the other servers or provide players an option for those who just want to jump onto Scorched Earth temporarily. Please note that these servers will no longer exist after 10 a.m. specific standard time on June the 1st. So if you intend to use them, remember to transfer your items, creatures, or characters off before that date as nothing will be saved beyond that time period. So if I was you and you jumped on one of these servers, I would probably set a reminder on your calendar for a day or two prior to the June June the 1st. So uh, let's see here, maybe the 28th, 29th or the 30th. I probably set a reminder on all three of those days just to make sure that you're if you don't leave your character on there, because if they take those servers offline and you have a max level character of 105 or 115, if you've ascended or 120, if you've ascended, you don't want to have your character on that server because it'll no longer exist. And I don't know if they'll re if they'll give you your character back if you create a ticket or whatever. I mean, it's possible. Um, I've seen them do do something like similar to that in the past. But just for for safety's sake, if you do end up playing on these uh, expire servers, then like I said, on the um, 28th, 29th, and 30th, I would definitely not be jumping back on them. The, just so that way you don't lose your uh, you lose your character they also just announced this today around 2 30 about four hours ago that the easter event the excellent rates have been extended on the official network until monday april 15th so they've given us a whole nother week with um uh, with boosted rates on official servers so on official 1x you got harvesting taming and experience and breeding at 3x on small tribes oh, that's yeah 1x pve 1x pvp on small tribes you got five and a half times harvesting taming experience and four times breeding and then on arcpocalypse please give us console only that's all i'm asking six times harvesting taming experience and breeding um but yeah that's what they got i hope y'all enjoyed the video um stay if y'all haven't subscribed yet would y'all please consider subscribing to the channel so that way y'all can get the news as soon as i'm able to upload it and then we will see y'all in the next one thank you